peeps and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number 10! I'm super excited for today's video because today we are doing a pick a card reading on what is going down in terms of love for us this week, okay? So before we get started, DM my Instagram in the description below if you would like a private tarot reading. <laughs> like this video, please subscribe to my channel and comment below a video you want to see next. So we have four groups today, okay? And you can pick more than one pile. Um, we have group one with the red stone, group two with the yellow stone, group three with the purplish gold stone, and group four with the blue stone so just take three deep mindful breaths okay center your intuition and pick the pile or the piles that you're being called to and you're just gonna get started all right group one with the red stone let's get right into it okay what is going down in terms of love for you guys this week so the first card we have that was under your stone is the condor the condor that is the first card we have um it says transition vision and determination you are being guided to soar above any difficulties and self-imposed limitations Ooh, deep life is a matter of perspective find the silver lining see beyond the ordinary and visualize okay this could be a hint to visualize for your manifestation if you've been trying to manifest someone in your life Maybe trying visualization is just the thing that you need to, you know, make your manifestation come through. But let's keep going. It says, visualize yourself doing extraordinary things. You are an extension of source power. So, wow, guys. Honestly, I feel like, okay, so it says transition, vision, and determination. So, in terms of love, you guys may honestly just be over it. You may be in a space where it's like... I don't feel like doing this anymore. This isn't fun to me. I'm not having fun, okay? And I totally relate to that and I totally understand it. Um, but I feel like you guys are in a transitional period and the universe is like, okay, call on your source power. Be determined to make what you want happen. Um, and it wouldn't tell you that for no reason, but it's basically like, first of all, see the silver lining, don't lose hope. But second of all, that one just fell right out. Um, you know, add some visualization in there. You know, see it um, as it's happening. See as see it as you want it to happen. Visualize. So let's keep going though. Okay, so we have the kangaroo and the cougar, and then we already had the condor, which you guys saw. Those are those cards. Okay, so the kangaroo, stability, faith, and determination. You're being guided to take action and think big. This is that same kind of energy. Oh, is it focused on me? I think it is. I hope it is. Um, yeah, stability, faith, and determination. You're being guided to take action and think big. Take back your power, leap over any obstacles, and build your desires on a solid foundation. Forge ahead without looking back and create emotional fulfillment while staying grounded. Being true to yourself and having faith in the unknown. Yeah, guys, honestly, this one actually says determination as well. That's so crazy. Stability, faith, and determination is what it says for the kangaroo spirit. For the condor, it was transition, vision, and determination. So there's kind of like this need where the universe is like, okay, Sometimes I'll bless you, but ultimately y'all are on your own down there. You have free will. So if you really want something to um, move around for you, you got to you gotta kind of go within, tap into that source power and exert it into your space. And this doesn't mean necessarily shooting your shot. You want to balance spirituality and practicality. So if you've been doing a ton of manifestation, okay, maybe put yourself out there so you can be seen. And vice versa. If you've been doing a ton of, you know, putting yourself out there, meeting new people, tap into that spiritual power. And I'm sensing that's really what the energy is. Okay, so Cougar. Assertive, wise, and decisive. You're being guided to be attentive towards the universal nudges in your life. So the universe is trying to send you some angel numbers. You may be seeing some spirit animals try to send you some messages. Yeah, your guides are definitely trying to connect with you right now. Um, make your decision and take a risk step outside your comfort zone if you change your approach you change your direction each inspired action uh will deliver you to your heart's desires so guys there's definitely this energy with your spread where it's like this isn't the time to let up this isn't the time to you know hope that the universe sends you what you're looking for this is the time to shift the energy yourself be a part of that change and kind of make it happen so Let's see what else we get. <clears throat> from the tarot, and then we'll probably pull some romance cards and go from there. 
this is definitely a week of action. Definitely a week of action. Knight of Pentacles, Four of Swords, yeah, guys, and the Queen of Swords. It's kind of honestly this whole type, this whole like transition I see. There's that. There's our tarot. So it's like right now you're at the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords, it's keeping you up at night. You're not able to see things clearly. You don't know what to do. You're very stressed about the situation. You know you want change, but you don't know exactly maybe how to get it or you don't know exactly what to do. Maybe you're new to manifesting. Maybe you're scared of manifesting. I literally had some girl comment on a video like a while back and she's like, oh my gosh, you talk about manifesting all the time. Like, I'm so scared, but I think I'm going to do it. And I'm like, girl. You don't have to summon up a pack of demons, okay? All you have to do is tell the universe what you want. Speak positivity into your space. Put pen to paper. That holds a vibration. Those are easy ways of manifesting that people don't even think of as manifesting. Um, but I see that you guys, it, it just feels like you're kind of in a... I feel like your vibration is a little low at this time because it's almost like, it's almost like you guys feel like it won't even happen. Like things aren't going to happen. I almost feel like you guys may even question like, is love real? You know, it's that kind of energy and love is definitely real. Love is all around us. We have the Queen of Swords. This is big action energy, okay? And the Queen of Swords does not play. She does not play. And this is the energy that the universe is asking you to tap into this Queen of Swords powerful energy where it's like, we've gotten so conditioned to just waiting for things and hoping that someone else exercises their free will and it's in alignment with what we want, aka someone approaches us instead of using your, you know, your own personal power to make it so people are attracted to maybe still approach us or to, you know, make things move and shake ourselves. It's just like, kind of like, this time we we need to go we we need to like go full throttle we need to go all the way in and then also something to do with money either money i don't i don't feel like this is a block at all though because it it came out upright but the person that you're manifesting may be someone with money influence or power um this is confirmation that you can get them you can get exactly what you're asking for you're not asking for too much and the universe is making that clear but especially if you're in that situation where you're manifesting someone with money power influence etc yeah you're definitely gonna have to you know go whore it takes a lot of work Okay, pay attention to the red flags is the card that fell out. Worth waiting for. And chemistry. Pay attention to the red flags. Worth waiting for and chemistry are the cards that we got. There you go. <laughs> okay. So, okay, let's start here. Pay attention to the red flags. At the bottom of this card, it says the signs are cautioning you. So honestly, if you guys feel stagnant, if you feel like nothing's moving, if you're not feeling like you're getting any signs, you may have got sign after sign after sign after sign, and now the universe is like, you're not listening, so I'm not sending you any more messages. That's a red flag. Nothing happening is a red flag. That's why they call it the calm before the storm. You don't always have to see like something crazy in order to feel alarmed. And I think you guys can feel that. And I think that's why I felt you guys like kind of really staying up, being stressed about the whole situation because there's definitely an energy that's like not in alignment right now. That is the red flag. The fact that nothing is happening, especially if you've been working on that, working on this, working on manifesting something, that is a red flag. So the universe is like, listen, Come on, um, let's do worth waiting for. At the bottom of this card, it says divine timing is at work in your love life. So trust that it's not too late, but I'm definitely getting this energy where we do have to kind of pick things up and the universe is just wanting you to put in a little bit of effort in and then it'll match your energy tenfold. If you've already been putting in a crap ton of effort, it's, it's so tricky, Ugh, it's frustrating a little bit, it's so tricky, but it is a fine line, I will say. There is such a thing as manifesting too much because at that point you don't even truly believe that your manifestations are coming true so for example if i do a love spell today 
the last thing I would want to do is do another one tomorrow because that's not me trusting that what I did today was enough and that it's going to come through for me. That's me doubting and thinking I've got to go absolutely nuts for what I want to happen. So it is, you know, um, a tightrope, I will say. It does take some balance, but if you've already been doing a lot, worth waiting for is letting you know that divine timing is at work in your love life. You have not been forgotten. The universe is going to come through for you and it's going to bring in this chemistry and that's the overall energy for everyone. There is chemistry to be had here, okay? There is men's, there is girls that are looking for you too. Um, at the bottom of the chemistry card, it says there's a strong magnetic attraction here, and this is what we're going towards. We just need a little bit of action this week. So yeah, guys, DM my Instagram in the description below. If you'd like a private reading, you can ask whatever question you want, okay? Like this video, please subscribe to my channel, and comment below what video you want to see next group two with the Yellowstone. Let's get right into it, okay? What is going down in terms of love for you guys this week? So the first card we have that was under your stone is the Fox Spirit. The Fox, okay? Uh, this one says intuitive, observant, and intellectual. You are being guided to look beyond the shadow side of any relationship. Open your eyes, mind, and heart to the lim limitless opportunities around you. So you guys, you may be dealing with someone who's being a wee bit difficult at this time, okay? I can't even gonna hold you. The energy does feel a little bit heavy, almost like if you're dealing with someone right now and you're in a no contact or something of that matter, if they're pulling back a bit, if they're just not communicating the way you do, I'm sensing that it's coming from a space of them not being fully emotionally, not necessarily fully emotionally available, but I just feel like they're lower in terms of working through their stuff. I feel like you've worked through more of your stuff than they have, is what I'm trying to say. So, um, you're being guided though to look beyond the shadow side of any relationship. So also, if you're already in a relationship and all you see is bad, 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 or if you look at your love life and all you see is strife and pain and suck and ugh, I hate this. The universe is asking you to look at that, look at the bright side, okay? I have a lot of energy today, I'm sorry. Let me keep going. <laughs> I was just like, after I did group one, I was like, wow, I had a lot of energy. Like, I don't know what it is. It's the coffee, I mean, obviously, but okay, let's keep going. I'm just in a good mood or whatever, like. Okay, so we have the cheetah spirit, the griffin, and the fox. Those are your cards. All right, so the fox spirit. Oh, did we already read that one? That was the first one. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> so the grip and spirit. Balance clarity and spiritual enlightenment you're being guided to find harmonic balance of your mind body and soul uh, the abundance you seek already exists within you you're strong independent and fearless take flight and achieve what you desire so honestly this was some of the um i feel like this energy not as extreme but it is similar to group one where there's this like need for you guys to look beyond the surface and invest a little bit more of yourself into your situation so it's like um balance honestly the mind body and soul kind of makes me feel like both parties are not in alignment even if you're not talking to anyone at this time etc you have nothing going on in your love life balancing your mind body and soul is going to make you the full package so it kind of feels like there's this like preparedness that you need to still work on at this time um and then we have the cheetah spirit focus clarity and speed you're being guided to be mindful and value yourself and others. Strategize your days, be patient, take calculated risks, and take actions towards your heart's desires. You have what you need to change your life today and become the best version of you. So honestly, this is a lot of action-oriented energy, and honestly, without even doing group three and four yet, I just feel like that's just like the collective energy. I'm, I'm sure I'll get that when I do the collective spread that it's just like, okay, we got to put some in personal investment, some of our personal power into our situation so that they can, you know, be fueled to bring us what we want. But anyway, tapping into the energy, it's almost like you guys need to make a solid plan because right now you guys may just be going with the flow and that may be the reason that you're not getting what you want. And I actually said the pretty much the exact same to group one where it's like to be honest the universe will come through when we need it the most with that special kind of miracle energy but at the end of the day we have free will because we have free will someone else may exercise their free will see see you as a hot young ting and they may approach you etc but 
you'll you'll forever kind of be waiting you definitely want to be like manifesting someone to come towards you or manifesting a relationship to get better or doing practical things to make it you know better counseling etc all sorts of stuff you get it but it's just like this energy where i feel like the universe is looking for whatever reason for a personal investment this week some effort time and energy from us and then i'm definitely sensing the universe will match our energy but it's kind of like we're being tested a little bit like how bad do you want it you know so let's see what else comes through oh yeah guys okay so we have the seven of swords in reverse the four of pentacles in reverse and the ten of swords everything is not okay but i feel like you guys are like comfortable in the uncomfortableness if you look at the ten of swords i'll keep it up for you can look at it for a second she's on her phone while she has ten swords in her back and i know people in my personal life who literally have like this personality and it's just like really nothing you can do about it for some people but it's just like there's this energy with you guys where it's like you've almost become comfortable in an uncomfortable situation either comfortable in a relationship going nowhere or comfortable not having anything coming into your life or happening it's almost like you're just like it is what it is whatever but it's time to like pick yourself up off the ground because she's still alive so you might as well get up and you know start to repair yourself you know there's there's definitely that energy here but i i feel you guys getting in your way your own way a little bit i feel you guys getting in your own way a little bit because i this seven of swords is like you guys going back into old karmic cycles like kind of for no reason either because it's comfortable to you or either because you're bored or someone crosses your mind and then you start thinking about them incessantly and then it's just like one day you wake up and they have your new number like come on guys like no no i feel like you guys are thinking about people maybe from the past and it's it's kind of been nagging at you but it's more so because you haven't explored any new energy and the universe is like invite new energy in so you're not tempted to go back to something that we've already established is not serving us and then with this four of pentacles in reverse honestly i i just feel you guys being a little shy i just feel you guys being a little shy that can easily that's like the least of your problems um i just feel you guys being a little shy a little reserved a little held back um maybe you know you've kind of been conditioned to go with the flow at this point because it's like you don't want to ask for too much and then get a flat out no but the universe is like this is the time to push this is a time to push for more it's the time so let's keep going let's see what the romance cards have to say okay <clears throat> what's going on this week oh my goodness no we have reconciliation literally the next card out release your ex i mean i can't make this up um oh and then playfulness just fell <laughs> that's hilarious okay so we have reconciliation release your ex and playfulness group two called it <laughs> <laughs> okay reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life so you know this is um you know someone from your past may be thinking about you too even if this isn't someone you've full-on dated this could even just be someone that you've kind of had a crush on and things didn't really get to be pursued or go anywhere like with that person but then we have release your ex that came right after it so the universe is kind of warning you old dude is coming back old girl she's coming back okay uh release your ex the time has come to clear your energy so honestly this feels like a test <sighs> i just don't really know what to say because honestly i feel like for a very small percent of you like a few of you this may be someone that has some potential Yes, because some of you didn't get to fully pursue it and see and have that moment where you could decide whether or not they would be useful in your life. But for whatever reason, I'm just like, ooh, I don't even want to touch that energy. Like, I'm just going to if I had to say a solid yes or no, of course, always, you know, use your better judgment, connect to your intuition, ask your guides when this happens. But for the majority of you, I'm honestly going to say don't even entertain this 
this person coming back um and then the last card we have is the playfulness card to recapture romance allow your uh inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so in terms of manifestation or in terms of you know doing things in a practical sense try to make it fun um you can always get a manifestation journal those are super super cool i'm actually going to get one myself because i've been hearing a lot of spiritual people talking about them lately and it sounds like a really good idea but maybe you can like color code it and make it like a whole fun thing definitely add play playfulness back into your situation and that can help you okay group two but you guys have a lot going on so good luck this week dm my instagram in the description below if you'd like a private reading you can ask whatever question you want okay like this video please subscribe to my channel and comment below what video you want to see next all right group three with the purplish gold stone let's get right into it okay what is going down in terms of love for you guys this week so the first card that we have that was right under your stone is the black panther the Black Panther, such a good movie. That's like definitely one of my favorite movies. Like I know this is like a side note, but like the soundtrack is dope. The colors, the aesthetic is dope. The storyline is like invigorating. It's a vibe. Anyways, <laughs> independent, clever, and fascinating. You're being guided to observe your surroundings and keep your own counsel. Find clarity and then express your inner and outer beauty to the world. Pounce on opportunities that feed your soul with purpose and passion. Awaken now to your personal powers, talents, and freedom. So guys, I think you guys may look at... So for those of you who are single, you may look at it as something that holds you back, but the universe is asking you to indulge in the fact that you're single. Like, seriously, it's... It's honestly a tightrope. It really depends. For me personally, a lot of times I like being single better just because it's more fun. But sometimes I know you want to be booed up or whatever. The universe is just asking you, harness your independence. Understand that you have free will. Even if you're in a relationship with someone, it is okay to express what you're really feeling and not to, it's okay to change. I saw something on Twitter the other day. It was like, normalize changing your opinion after learning new information or something like that and that's so true normalize leaving your boyfriend or your girlfriend if you're not happy anymore like <laughs> okay you know what I'm saying like it's just I feel like you guys are free and you have a lot of potential and opportunity group three and the universe is kind of asking you don't look at this as something that holds you back if you don't have exactly what you want out of your love life don't look at it as you being limited you know well let's keep going Okay, two, um, two felines. We have the lion, the bee, and the black panther. Those are your cards. The lion, the bee, and the black panther. So the bee, creativity, cooperation, and productivity. You're being guided to change something in your life. Become inspired, follow your heart, and creatively build your future with today's decisions. You have no limitations and there are no boundaries to your capabilities. Any assistance you need will always be found. So if you guys are feeling like you just need help, if you feel like, you know, um, you've hit a wall, Listen, when you have a car, at some point, you're going to need gas. You don't have to look within for everything. You don't have to meditate to get all the answers for everything. It is okay to go outside and look for sources. Not always literally, but sometimes literally. What I'm saying is, it's okay to ask your guides for help. It's okay to ask your higher self, God, spirit, the divine, whatever it is that you believe in for assistance or for growth, or for new information, for opportunity, etc. It's okay to ask. Don't feel like you're asking for too much. But the universe is asking you to kind of be on top of that energy. Instead of waiting for the universe to kind of see, oh, you need some help, let me give you a miracle. The universe is like, just ask and you know, you will receive. You're a limitless being. You can have anything your heart's desires as long as you believe that it's something that you can have. Start, you know, with baby steps. That's the thing with manifestation. A lot of people get tripped up where it's like, okay, if you can manifest anything, why don't you manifest a million dollars? A lot of people don't believe they can manifest a million dollars. But me, for example, I may, you know, do a smaller scale manifestation and I may say, universe, can I get $5,000 on a cool? Like, and that I believe. I believe that the universe can make a way to send me $5,000 on a cool. So that's the whole thing. Just ask for maybe something smaller, um, you know, but the universe is kind of asking you to play more of a hand in it and that's been the energy for all the groups um so far um anyways let's get into the lion spirit okay loyalty courage and leadership yeah kind of taking that leadership position tapping into your personal power 
you're being guided to take back your power. Uh, you are a powerful co-creator, co-creator, meaning you co-create with the universe. The universe doesn't give you anything, uh, give you everything. Um, you also don't, you know, get everything yourself. You have to co-create. You're a co-creator with limitless inner strength and confidence. When you allow your voice to be heard, the people around you will listen. So maybe it's time, group three, to have some serious conversations. And I understand it may be uncomfortable, but the universe is really asking you to come out of your shell this week. You know, tap into that lion, lion, <laughs> okay? That lion energy and understand that, you know, we're kind of at a standoff. And the 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 big the person with the most you know going on is gonna win. The person with the most power, the person who exudes the most strength over the situation, is the one who's gonna win. So it's up to you. You know, are you going to? I feel like I'm giving like a motivational speech, but are you gonna stand up? You know, to the opposing forces right now and take the lead on your situation. I just feel like there needs to be more action this week. This week is really all about action. It really is. <clears throat> Let's see what else comes through. Okay. Mm -hmm. The Hermit. Yes. The Hermit, the Five of Wands in reverse, and the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, guys, it's time to come out of your shell, is simple, simply put. Uh, the Hermit, the Five of Staffs in reverse, and the Three of coins in reverse or the three of pentacles in reverse the funny part about it is with this five of wands in reverse um i'm not at all feeling like you guys are confused you know the five of wands typically indicates some confusion ultimately if you guys really tap into your intuition you know what your next step could be you know what to do i think it's just a matter of finally doing it because Honestly, we're just at a standstill. I know you guys, well, if you listen to a lot of spiritual content, etc., then you've probably heard of ascensions happening, right? People are definitely ascend uh, ascending. People are definitely waking up. And we're just at a time where it's like, if you don't take the reins, the lead, you may get left behind. You may get left behind. And I'm kind of seeing that to be the case in every area of our life. So with this hermit card, you're being asked to get out of your shell group three and to, you know, work your magic, work the situation, honestly. And then with the three of pentacles in reverse, it's kind of just like there's this resistance for whatever reason for you guys to collaborate with other people to your guides etc maybe you don't want things to go that far maybe you were raised religious like myself it's a process okay i i literally spent like the first i had to go to church until i was like 15 <laughs> until i was 15 and then my mom really couldn't handle it anymore because then i had like a whole rebel phase not gonna get into that okay it was not cute i was definitely ratchet ratchet but um <laughs> the point is you know maybe there's things that you know shaped you and molded you and there's just things that you're not comfortable with yet always stay within your own comfort limits okay you can do anything at any time you can um but it's time to come out of your shell a little bit even if you don't manifest even if you're working on the practical right things that you can do in the practical world it's kind of just like if you want love if you want loves okay you're gonna have to work for it a wee bit okay let's pull some romance cards but there's this resistance on your end a little bit um to collaborating with the universe with your guides Maybe you've never connected with them at all. That's a place to start. You can look on YouTube. There's a million and one resources. You can find like how to connect with your guides. If that's your thing, if that's your block, start there. How to connect with your higher self, da 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 da, and so on. Worth waiting for, forgiving and learning, and past life relationship. Yeah, you guys, this is very, very powerful, potent energy. Past life relationship, worth waiting for, and forgiving and learning. You guys, okay, let's start with past life relationship. You've known each other before is what it says at the bottom of this card. So this lets me know we're not, you know, just waiting for something 
minuscule to come in. Like this is very powerful energy. This is a very powerful connection that's coming up next for you guys. And that's why it's so important for you guys to match this energy because you're going to crumble with a past life relationship. You're not going to know what to do with yourself. You're going to fall in love with this person and you know, they're going to be able to do whatever they kind of, you feel like, you know, doing with your heart. And it's like, if you guys don't take the reins and take control, you're not going to build that strength that's going to be required for a relationship as heavy as a past life relationship you know uh worth waiting for if you guys group two got this message too a little bit if you guys have been doing a lot just be patient a little bit the universe is on the way okay divine timing is at work in your love life if divine timing is off if the timing is off everything is, is like null and void you know so just trust trust the process um, and then forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in the present moments okay so maybe you guys have been denied maybe you just have a crappy kind of history in terms of love but things are going to get better but it's time to forgive and learn from those situations and grow from it and that will also help you this week so yeah guys that is what's coming up for you guys in terms of love dm my instagram in the description below if you like a private reading you can ask whatever question you want okay like this video please subscribe to my channel and comment below what video you want to see next all right group four with the blue stone let's get right into it okay what is going down in terms of love for you guys this week so the first card we have that was under your stone is the sheep spirit that is what we have so it says compassion gentle and or compassionate gentle and youthful you're being guided to have gratitude for all that is in your life begin today to walk your new path remove any unproductive relationships and connect with your un with your authentic self you are a kind compassionate person who shines brightly so honestly i'm getting three different messages for you guys for this card First of all, for some of you, someone may have kind of came for you a, a little bit, came for your character. A lot of times people do that just so they can get more out of you. So the first message that I'm getting, if someone has told you, you're not doing enough, you're not, you know, giving me what I want, rah, 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 it's because they just want to get more out of you. But this is confirmation. You're a light. Okay, you're a light. Don't allow other people to dim your light just because they can't get what they want. That's called throwing a tantrum and they need to grow up. Okay, that's not on you. That's a projection. That's number one that I'm getting. Numero dos. Okay, number two. The second thing that I'm getting is begin today to walk on your new path. That just really sticks out to me. And then the third thing was remove any unproductive relationships and connect with your authentic self. I think you guys, I think you've been maybe going with the flow a bit too much or maybe you've lowered your standards to kind of fit the mold of what someone else wants just so you can say you have something, just so you can have a relationship quicker um, or you know some sort of connection because it is important as humans, we, we have this like inner desire to connect with people okay it's natural um we've just got to find a way to balance it but i feel like you guys have kind of like started to like skew off your own path or away from who you are stray i guess is the better word not skew but like stray away from who you really are etc due to being a people pleaser and i relate to that energy so much group four because i am so such a freaking people pleaser like being in relationships is like very cringy to be honest but you know it's it's kind of just like we've got to find this new balance because you're supposed to be walking on a new path right now so if you haven't had anything new happen in your life like if you haven't i don't know moved lately if nothing feels different if things have been the same for say the last six months you're supposed to be on a new path at this time and that's why the universe is saying it's not too late but reconnect with your authentic self so you can start this process because it's kind of passing you by a little bit you guys are supposed to be in a different place than you were six months ago at this time so if you didn't know that, now you know. But that's that's the T. So it's like, okay, first of all, that's the T. So it's like, you know, we kind of need to get back in alignment, group four. Let's see what else comes through. Also, removing any unproductive relationships. Don't feel bad for cutting people off. It is what it is. I don't even have much to say about it because I've come to realize there's nothing you can do to soften the blow. People don't like it when they when they you know are told no people don't like it when you walk out of their lives and they can't use you anymore it, it's always going to be that way so i mean i don't really know what to say about it at this point you kind of just got to do it you know it is what it is 
we have the dragonfly and the whale i love dragonflies lately i don't know why okay whale spirit dragonfly and we already went over the other card that we had the sheep okay dragonfly uh beauty versatility versatility <laughs> beauty versatility and spontaneity you're being guided to put yourself in the spotlight you're beautiful in countless ways and your soul shines brightly you possess a unique vibrant personality and great versatility utilize these qualities to create a life of passion purpose and joy yeah guys i'm getting more of that same energy where it's just like it's okay it happens to the best of us but i feel like you've been allowing someone or something or like your own fear to like kind of dim your light and it's like you're a creative being you're a beautiful being inside and out <sighs> screw society i can i honestly i feel i feel that urge to go on a rant about society beauty beauty standards but i'm not gonna do it today satan get thee behind i'm not doing it today no ma'am um but y'all know how i get about certain things um you're you're absolutely beautiful tap into your own personal power okay I'm getting hot. I can feel it. Okay. So, and then the whale spirit, agility, imagination, and intuition. You're being guided to focus on emotional stability and listen to your inner guidance. The time has come for you to jump into action and to go after whatever it is that you desire. Be, be playful and splash in the waters of creating new waves of abundance for you and others to enjoy. So you guys, I feel like you're not tapping into your creative energy as much. For me, when I'm not doing anything anything creative, I start to have like physical responses. Like all of a sudden I'm like a cat in heat to be completely honest. I know it's like too TMI, like too much information, but I'm just like, ooh, like I need a new boo. Or like I just get like really like irritated and I'm really short with people. Like. I have physical responses when I don't exercise my creativity. So if you guys feel like you're super like overly focused on relationships or overly focused on finding love, it may be because your your other areas in your life may not be balanced. Like maybe, you know, you need to tap back into your own personal creativity and power so you can kind of have something else to supplement how you feel and then you can allow the things that you've been manifesting the things that you want to kind of naturally trickle in you know what i'm saying um so yeah let's let's keep going let's pull some tarot and see what else comes up <laughs> I take all of them no it's like 10 cards the knight of wands ooh, the four of wands and the ten of swords in reverse this is very good energy honestly i feel like this is a turning point for you guys group four this is definitely a turning point um, the Knight of Wands, the Two of Wands, and the Ten of Swords in Reverse. You guys, with this Ten of Swords in Reverse energy, you may have started to get comfortable in an uncomfortable situation. Basically, like, you guys, you may have just been like, you know what, it is what it is. Things just are this way. There's nothing I can do to change it, whatever, blah. But I really do, I feel you moving out of this energy and I feel you moving into your personal power. And that's been a theme this week. I've told it to every group. Um, there's kind of just this energy or this need for us to tap into our own personal power this week for whatever reason. I mean, we always should, but specifically this week, it's just like so highlighted. Um, but with the tennis words in reverse, I do see you guys getting past the things maybe from, you know, this could be past heartbreak, past trauma, etc. So many things can influence our love life. I feel you guys moving past those things and walking towards a four of wands. The four of wands is, you know, um, illustrated with a couple kind of walking through that next phase of their life. Like whatever card it was, was talking about that. Was it the sheep? It doesn't matter. Yeah, sheep, um, the sheep card. Begin today to walk to your new path. 
The Four of Wands is literally like two wands on each side. It's an opening for you and your new lover to walk through and to enter a new phase of your life. This is what you're walking towards. So it's important that we get an alignment um, so that we can, you know, walk in this energy. And we're going to have to take on a Knight of Wands kind of energy where we know things are going to happen. We're confident. There's definitely a need for us to tap into our own personal power and to tap into that confidence energy this week. It's just absolutely essential. Let's pull some Romance Angel cards <coughs> and see what's going on. What's going on this week? Mm -hmm. Attraction, you deserve love and keep an open mind. Those are our romance cards. There you go. Okay, so you deserve love. At the bottom of this card, it says you are lovable. Lovable. <laughs> it's funny because sometimes I say love instead of love, and it's like lovable. Anyway, I don't know why I think that's funny. I'm a child. Anyway, um, you deserve love. Yeah, guys, this is really about... So we've been talking about through your entire spread, kind of dimming your light or dumbing yourself down for other people's benefit or asking for less than what you deserve or what you want. This is an end to that. You are lovable. The universe is telling you that outright and it's just like, act like it. It's just like, act like it. Like to a degree, the universe is kind of slapping the back of your neck. Like you've really been acting like you're not valuable. Like what's that about? <laughs> You know, um, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations is what it says at the bottom of this card. So yes, that new path, that four of wands, this portal that we're walking through with our new boo, they may be different from our usual type and maybe that's why they're so much better. So keep an open mind for what comes through your life, you know? Um, and then we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. If you're not happy, you're not gonna attract happy vibrations. So it's time to get back in alignment with yourself. And that is what's bringing in this new love for you guys group four, okay? So yeah, that was your spread. DM my Instagram in the description below if you'd like a private tarot reading. You can ask whatever question you want for your reading, okay? Like this video, please subscribe to my channel and comment below what video you want to see next. I love you. Be careful what you wish for, okay? And I will see you in the next one. Mwah!